All right, so in this video, we're going to talk about labeling a neuron. Um, you can either watch this video and then open the assignment and complete it using Kami, or you can go ahead and have them both open and do the assignment as you watch the video. It's up to you. It doesn't matter, just as long as you get it in before the due date. So, and again, please don't wait until the last minute because I really want you to learn this stuff and not just do it. Um, so, I want to be able to help you. I want to be able to clear anything up that you may need help with. Um, and I want you to learn because this is really important. So, you may not think it is, but I promise it is. Um, so, we're going to label a neuron. So, to start, though, we need to figure out what a neuron is. And basically, a neuron is a nerve cell. So, we're going to go to our text box here and we're going to type that in. And I'm going to go ahead and put brain and spinal cord there. So, neurons are the cells that make up your brain and spinal cord. Your brain and spinal cord make up this thing called the central nervous system. And that's sort of the thing that tells your body what to do and when to do it. Um, so, for example, if you touch a hot stove, then your neurons would work to, your central nervous system, would work to tell your hand to move away from that burner before it's badly burned. So, um, we'll look here. There's six parts to label of this neuron. Uh, we'll just start at the top and work our way down. So, let's think of this as the top of the neuron or the start or the beginning of the neuron. So, if I touch that hot stove, what has to happen is I have to realize that, or my body has to realize, my neurons have to realize that, okay, there's something really, really hot there. So, that's what this thing does, this part of the neuron does. It's called a dendrite. And what the dendrites do is they just receive a signal. So in the example that I started with, we'll just go with that. Um, my body realizes, okay, there's something, or the neuron realizes there's something really, really hot under uh, her finger. So, um, then this Dendra, it receives this signal, and the signal travels through here, and it goes into this little part. This part, number three, we'll say that's the cell body. Cell body. And pretty much that controls the functions of the neuron. Protects nucleus. So I've sort of uh, ruined the surprise for you, but the cell body is this white part with the little um, black triangles in it. Uh, I don't know what those are. Um, but, and that basically is the protection. It's the, it controls the function of the neuron because it protects this gray circle, which is like any sort of center of a cell, like plants and animal cells we talked about last year. Um, that's called the nucleus. So, number two is the nucleus. If you remember from last, last year, we'll use the same definition for nucleus. That's the brain of the neuron. The brain of a cell is the nucleus. So, uh, if I, my hand touches a hot stove, the dendrite receives a signal. The signal travels down through the dendrite, through the cell body, into the nucleus. The nucleus processes that signal and says, oh gosh, uh, this is hot. We do need to move the hand from the burner before bad things happen. So the nucleus processes that signal and then it shoots it out through here. So this little skinny windy trail here, number five, that is called the axon. And the axon is pretty much the highway uh, that signals travel, that electrical impulses travel. So this carries signals. So oh, that signal is traveling through here. Let's think about that. If you are touching a hot stove, would it be smart to move quickly or slowly? Probably want to move as quickly as possible, right? So that way you don't burn your hand off. So these little rectangular bubbles here, which are number four, that helps speed up that electrical impulse, that signal that's moving from the dendrite from the top of the neuron all the way through. 
the neuron. I won't give the name away for, for that yet. Um, so this is called the myelin G and it speeds up signal transmission. Let me move this so you can see. So that's really important because again, you want to move as quickly as possible. You want those electrical impulses uh, to move through the neuron so that way you can react appropriately. So the last part, so the signal, again, it comes in through the dendrite, it moves down through there, it goes through the cell body into the nucleus. The nucleus processes what's happening. It sends the response that needs to happen through the axon, it moves quickly thanks to the myelin sheath surrounding it, sort of speeding up uh, how fast the signal is moving. And then it reaches the end of the neuron. So number six, that is called and really it's the end of the axon. If you think about it like that, that makes sense. It's called the axon terminal. And at the beginning of the dendrite to receive the signal, the axon terminal is going to send out the signal. And on other neurons. Back and up. So that's pretty much the end of a single neuron. Um, your brain and spinal cord are made up of lots and lots of neurons. Um, so if you look at like neurons, like how they're actually laid out, it would be like at the end here, of these axon terminals, you would have another dendrite. So you have the start of another uh, neuron. So that is it. That is the basics of the nerve cell. I don't know why that's there. Twice. Um, and it's really important that you know that it may not serve you, uh, you know, in your life to know the parts of a neuron. I'm never going to ask you to just blindly recall these parts of a neuron. Um, but it is important to know that a neuron is your brain, ce your brain cells, your spinal cord cells, your neurons help help your body do what it needs to do. Um, so that's really basically it. Um, Turn this in whenever you get finished. Don't wait till the last minute to do things, uh, please. If you need any help, let me know. If you want to talk more about neurons, uh, let me know, because I like to talk about weird science stuff. You know that. Um, yeah, and I'm missing you guys. Hopefully, we'll get back to normal soon.